Hi, Kim. Hey, Sean. Good to see you again. How have you been? Okay. I didn't sleep much last night, though. I stayed up until 2 a.m. studying for an exam. I was up late last night, too. The semester is almost over. I've had exams all week. Are you going back to California after you graduate? I think so. After I graduate, I'll probably go back home and try to get a job. Do you know where you'd like to work? Not yet, but I want to be an English translator. That'd be really cool. I'd like to be a translator, too, but I don't think my English is good enough. Don't worry about that. Your English is better than most of my classmates. Thanks. Where are you going now? I'm going to study at the library. I have to take an exam tomorrow. Me too. How late does the library stay open? I think it's open until 11.30. Okay. Good luck. Hello? Hi, Angela. It's Dan. Hi, Dan. How are you? Good. I called you yesterday. Did you get my message? Yes. I was taking a shower when you called. I saw that you called, and I tried to call you back. But I think your phone was off. No problem. I wanted to remind you that my friend is getting married next week. You're still coming to the wedding with me, right? Oh, is that next week? Yes. Did you forget? No, of course not. I already bought them a present. That's good. I want to invite Megan also. Next time you see her, can you tell her for me? Sure. Does she know your friend? Yes. I think they might have gone to the same college or something like that. I'm not exactly sure how they know each other. Are we all going to drive together? Yes. I'll pick you up first, and then we'll go get Megan. Hi. I'd like to see the doctor, please. Do you have an appointment? No. When would you like an appointment? Is today possible? Yes, today is fine. What time would you like? As soon as possible. My stomach really hurts. Please wait a moment. I'll see if the doctor is available. Okay. Sorry, he's with a patient right now. It's probably going to be another 30 minutes. Would you mind waiting a little longer? No problem. May I see your insurance card, please? Here you are. Thanks. That's going to be $25 for today's visit. Really? I didn't think it would be that much. I know how you feel. I'll pay with cash. Thank you. Would you please turn on the heat? It's really cold in here. Hey, Jane. Did you get the mail yet? Yes, I picked it up this morning. There were a few bills and a letter from my mother. There was also a lot of junk mail. Was there anything for me? I don't remember. Let me check. Yes, it looks like there's something here for you. Who's it from? The American Embassy. My hands are dirty. Will you open it for me? Sure. What does it say? It says your passport is ready. You can pick it up any time. Do you think you can drive me there? Sure. When? I think we should go get it now. I'm going to wash my hands, and then we'll go. Is that okay? How are you feeling? I still have a cold. Still? It's been over a week now, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been a while. I started feeling this way last Monday. Are you feeling any better? A little. I took some medicine this morning, and I feel a little better now. What's wrong? I have a bad cough. Did you go see the doctor yet? Not yet. I might go tomorrow. I'm going to the drugstore now. Can I get you anything? Yes. If it's not too much trouble, would you get me some tissues? Sure. Anything else? No. That's it. Okay. I'll be back in about an hour. If you think of anything else you need, give me a call. Thanks. Hi, James. It's good to see you again. Hi, Barbara. Are you here for work? 
Yes. Is Steve with you? No, I'm here alone. Steve couldn't come this time. How long will you be staying? Four days. I'm going back on Friday. My brother and I are getting together for dinner. Do you want to come with us? Yeah, that would be nice. I have a meeting in an hour. I can meet you afterwards if that's okay. The meeting shouldn't last long. That's fine. Who is your meeting with? The Boston Insurance Company. I'll call you when it's over. Okay. Can I use your phone? I left mine in the car, and I want to call them to get directions. Sure. Here you go. Hello? Hi, Frank. It's Pam. Hey, Pam. What's up? Not much. Where are you? I'm in the car driving home. When you get home, will you send me an email with directions to the party tonight? Sure, no problem. When do you think you'll get home? I don't know. Maybe in about thirty minutes or so. There's a lot of traffic. I have to go out soon. Can you just send me a text message with the address instead? I'll do that as soon as I get home. Thanks a lot. Drive carefully. Okay. I'll see you tonight. Bye. Hello? Hi, Sharon. It's George again. What time do you think you'll get to the party tonight? Sorry. What did you say? Hello? Can you hear me? I said, what time do you think you'll be getting to the party? Sorry. I can't hear you. Can you hear me now? No, not very clearly. It's really noisy here. It might be my cell phone. I don't think I have very good reception. Oh, that's okay. Can I call you right back? Okay. Ed, what should we do today? I've been studying all week. I'd like to exercise. Me too. Let's go to the gym. Good idea. What are we going to do there? We can lift weights or play basketball. I like to play basketball. Are you good at it? Not really, but I like to play. I used to play a lot when I was in school, but now there's no time. I know what you mean. I used to play soccer a lot. Do you think we can play soccer there? No, there's not enough room. I think it's better if we play outside. Okay. Maybe we can go play soccer later this afternoon. It's too cold outside today. Let's wait until the weather gets a little warmer. Okay. Anthony, are you okay? I'm okay now, but I got into a car accident this morning. Were you hurt? No, but my neck is still a little sore. What happened? I wasn't paying attention, and I hit a car that stopped in front of me. Were the people in the other car all right? Yes, they're fine. I wasn't going very fast. Were you wearing a seat belt? Yes. Did the police come? Yeah. I called them on my cell phone right after it happened. Do you want me to drive you home? No, I need to go get my car fixed this afternoon. Hello, Mrs. Wilson. Hi, doctor. How are you feeling? I don't feel good. What's bothering you? I have a stomach ache and a headache. Where does it hurt? Here. Do you have a fever? No, I don't think so. Okay. Let me look at your throat. Open your mouth. Your throat's red. Does it hurt? Yes, it's sore. When did it start to feel this way? Last week. I think you have a virus. It might be the flu. I'm going to give you a prescription for some medicine. Thank you. Try to get some rest. And be sure to drink lots of water and orange juice. Hello? Marriott Hotel. How may I help you? Hi. I'd like to make a reservation. Just a moment. Okay. For what date? July 25th. How many nights will you be staying? Two nights. What's the room rate? $75 a night, plus tax. Would you like me to reserve a room for you? Yes, please. Your name? Nancy Anderson. Miss Anderson, how will you be paying? Visa. Card number, please. 4198 
2289-3388-228. Expiration date? 1-9-2012. Okay, you're all set. We'll see you on the 25th. Kevin, what would you like to do? I don't know. Maybe watch TV. That's a good idea. We're going shopping later, so I think you should rest for a while. I don't think I want to go anymore. What do you mean? I thought you said we were going shopping. I know, but I changed my mind. I'm too tired. Well, I still have a lot of stuff to buy. When do you think we'll go? Maybe tonight. Okay. Would you mind if I use your phone? Sorry, I don't have signal. Are you kidding? I usually have really good reception here. My phone is very old, and it doesn't work very well. What if I take it outside? Yes, that's fine. It works well outside. Andrew, would you like to play a game? Okay. What kind of game? Let's play cards. Do you know how to play blackjack? Yes, that's an easy game. I don't want to play that right now. Okay. Do you remember how to play poker? I think so, but you're going to have to explain the rules to me again. Okay. Look at this piece of paper. It has all the rules on it. Okay, yes. I remember now. I think the last time we played this game, you won, and I lost. Yes, that was fun. Okay, let's play. But this time I don't want to bet money. Okay, we won't bet. We'll just play for fun. Angela, come in. Happy birthday. Thanks. I can't believe you remembered that. Well, I have a calendar in my computer. It helps me remember things like that. What are you up to? I'm reading a book my cousin gave me for my birthday. Let me see. Oh, I have this book at home. I want to give you a present, too. Wow, it's a guitar. I already have one, but I like this one better. Thank you. You're welcome. Do you know how to play the guitar? Yeah, I know how to play. My father taught me when I was young. Will you play it now? I want to listen to some music. Okay. Do you know this one? Yeah, I've heard that one. I could sing that song when I was in middle school. It's an old one. It makes me feel old. When I was in college, they used to play it on the radio all the time. Good evening. Hi. Do you have any vacancies tonight? Yes. The rate is $55. Do the rooms have Internet access? We have wireless. If you have a computer, you can use the wireless network for an additional $5. Okay. I'd like a room, please. Would you like a smoking or a non-smoking room? Non-smoking. How will you be paying? Visa. Here you are. How many people? Two. Would you like a king-size bed or two double beds? King-size, please. You're in room 237. It's on the second floor. Here's your key. Sign here, please. What time is checkout? 11.30. Hello. How may I help you? I'd like to send this package to California. Would you like to send it overnight or by regular mail? How much is it to send it overnight? Twenty dollars. And by regular mail? Twelve dollars. I'd like it to get there tomorrow. Please fill out this form. When you are finished, come back to this window. Okay. I think I'm done. Is this correct? Yes, that's right. I'd also like to mail this letter. Do you need to buy stamps? Yes. A book of stamps costs $3, so that'll be $23 for everything. Oh, I forgot my wallet in my car. I'll be right back. Patrick, why didn't you call me last night? I was worried about you. Sorry, I was sick. I went to bed early. What's wrong? I had a cough, and my eyes were really dry. Are you better now? Yes, I'm feeling a lot better. 
Much better than yesterday. Do you have allergies? Yes. Last time I went to the doctor, he did some tests and told me I have allergies. It gets worse in the spring. What time did you wake up this morning? Around 9.30. Are you going to work today? No. I think I'll just stay home and watch TV. I can work from home today. Good. Get some rest, and I'll bring over some food later. Thanks. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Josh. It's been a long time. Where are you working now? I work at a software company downtown. I'm an engineer. That's interesting. What kind of software do you write? It's a database for small businesses. Does your company have a website? Yes. What's the website address? www.sun.com How can I get the software? You can download it from the website. It's very popular, and it's free. Okay, I'll do that. I have to go now. It was really nice seeing you again. It was nice seeing you, too. Email me next week, and we'll get together for coffee. My computer is broken, so I can't send you email right now. Can I call you? Sure. My number is 233-288-2328. What are you listening to? I'm listening to the radio. I know that. Who are they playing? Guess. I think it's the Beatles, right? That's right. How did you know that? In my country, everyone knows who they are. They're famous. Really? Of course. My parents saw them at a concert a long time ago. Did you know that they're from England? Yes, of course. What kind of music do you usually listen to? I listen to everything, but my favorite is pop. I see. Who's your favorite singer? Celine Dion. I like her, too. She's got a great voice. Hello, miss. Do you need a taxi? Yes. Do you have any luggage? Just these two suitcases. Okay. I'll put them in the back for you. Where are you going? The Comfort Inn. I think there are two in Boston. Which one are you going to? The one downtown. Is this your first time in Boston? No, I've been here many times. I come here for work all the time. Do you know how long it'll take? It shouldn't take long. Probably about 15 minutes. Wow. It looks like the traffic is really bad. Yeah, there might be an accident up ahead. Okay, then stop at the next intersection. I'm going to get out there and take the subway. Are you hungry? No. Why? We've been driving a long time. I think we'd better find some place to eat soon. No, I'm okay. We're late, so we'd better not stop. We've passed that same store three times already. I think we're lost. We should ask someone for directions. We're not lost. I've never gone this way before. Do you know where you're going? Yes, this road goes through town. It's faster than the highway. Okay. Would you mind driving a little slower, please? Sure. No problem. Did you see that sign back there? I think this is a one-way street. No, I didn't see that. I'm going to have to turn around. You can't turn around here. I think you should let me drive. I think you're right. I'm getting tired. Adam, can you do me a favor? Sure. I can't find my purse. Can you help me? No problem. I'll help you look for it. Thanks. What color is it? It's black. Did you look in the kitchen? Yes, I already looked there. I'll look in the living room. Did you find it? No, it's not in there. When was the last time you saw it? I had it when I went to the library this morning. Do you think you might have left it there? Maybe. I'll call the library and ask them if anyone found it. Wait, is this it? Yes, that's it. That's my purse. Thanks for helping me find it. Excuse me. Will you take a picture of us? Sure. 
This is a really nice camera. Thanks. My parents gave it to me. How do you use it? You press this button here. Come a little closer. Wait, that's too close. Move a little to the left. Okay, stay right there. Do you mean here? Yes, that's good. Oh, I can't get it to work. You need to hold down the button for about three seconds. Okay, I got it. Are you ready? Yes. Smile. Hi, Tracy. What's going on? Hi, Thomas. I'm waiting in line to buy a DVD player. The line is too long. Why don't you come back tomorrow? I think you're right. They're going to close soon. Let's go get some coffee. Okay, wait a minute. I have to get something out of my purse. Will you hold this for me? Sure. Oops. What happened? I dropped your calculator. Is it broken? I'm not sure. Let me have a look. No, I don't think it's broken. The button came off, though. I can fix it. Sorry about that. Don't worry about it. I do that all the time. If it is broken, I have another one in my car.